welcome back to another QuickBooks Online tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Square integration, how to accept transactions from Square and how to match it in banking to avoid income duplication. Keep in mind, one of the biggest problems when people have integration is income duplication. You want to avoid that because it will not only cost you more in taxes, but also give you the wrong point of reference. Remember, you always want to have the right point of reference, not just to file your taxes, but mostly so you can know where to target your next step, how to grow your business. All right, so without much further ado, here we go. We Today we're actually going to go into a PowerPoint presentation and we're going to show it from the beginning. QuickBooks Online Square Integration accepting transaction and matching. All right, so the first thing, what do you have to do? You want to go ahead and, and log in to QuickBooks Online, of course, and on the left-hand side, click on Transactions. And then you want to se select App Transaction. Here's the, uh, here's the video on that. So you click on Transaction, and then right from there, App Transaction, and this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get all the uh, square transactions and what you're gonna do is accept those transactions okay now keep in mind that we're talking about credit card transactions so it says card transactions in there and there should be a match in the bank for the exact amount here 39 25 57 and we have the date as June 2nd you want to make sure that those items are right so you can just add from app transaction first and then after you add this transaction, you're going to go to your bank feed where the bank transactions are coming through. And this is what you're going to see. You're going to see the, this transaction. And usually the deposit is going to be one or two days later, sometimes a little bit more, one, two, three days if it is on a weekend. But obviously it has to be after and not too much after and the amount has to be exact. So here it is, 39, 25, 27. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on match. Now, if you're not sure if this deposit is right, you can click on the amount, 39, 25. Click on the blue highlight that says deposit, and it's gonna open up the deposit with the details, if you wanna see. Uh, but if you are pretty sure this is it, so you go ahead and click on match. And this is gonna avoid duplication. When we are matching transaction, we're gonna combine those two transactions into one. Okay, now, keep in mind that things doesn't always work out great with integration. One of the issues we have found with the um, Square integration is when we have mixed transactions with cash included. So this is going on for a while. Hopefully Square will fix one of these days. Actually, it's not Square, it's QuickBooks. This integration is done by QuickBooks. So maybe this is going to be figured out uh, between QuickBooks and Square so they can fix. But until they fix it, here's how we fix it. So mixed transactions deposit will be off by the amount of the cash in the transaction. Why is that? Because obviously it's credit card and cash. Cash you don't necessarily deposit at the same time. And what Square is sending to you is never going to be cash. Because cash, you already have the cash. They're going to send you the credit card amount minus whatever fees that they are going to uh, be charging that. So how do, you, how do you know that this transaction is off by the cash transaction? If you go into app transaction, you see the number, you click on the amount that is deposited. So that in this case, deposit 11.9335 is actually going to show you that the total collected is 12.5793, the fees of 36.58, but then, guys, here is the amount that is going to be off by. See where it says undeposit cash check? This should never be on this deposit because that's, like I said, cash should go to cash. Credit card will be deposited in the bank, will be sent by Square. So once you accept this deposit or this transaction, it will create a deposit by the amount of the credit card plus the $28. The problem is that on the bank, that was the, the, the square send the deposit it's not going to include that $28 so that amount that deposit will be off by $28 so anytime you see undeposit cash slash check and there is amount there 
you will know that this transaction will not match it in banking if you add it. So how, how to fix that? That's what we're gonna talk about here. All right, so you will want to add the transaction, okay? And uh, obviously, like we said, there's no match because of the cash amount. So what we, we're gonna do, we're gonna go click on the plus sign, which is on the left-hand side menu, and then we're gonna go to uh, bank deposit, which is on the third row over there, okay? Once we go to bank deposit, we are going to click on that counter clock on the top left-hand side, see that? Okay, so that counter clock, anytime you have a transaction with QuickBooks, uh, you'll see that counter clock. If you click on that counter clock, it's gonna bring you the most recent transaction. So that works for uh, invoices, deposits, payment, everything. So there you go. So for deposit, you click on that counter clock and you're gonna see that last deposit and you want to click on that last deposit, okay? Um, okay, so we have a different deposit here, but it's the same situation. Oh no, it's the same, okay. <laughs> same situation here. So the, the, deposit, the total amount collected minus the fee but look, we have that $28, which is the, the cash transaction that obviously did not get deposited at the same time. So what to do next? You want to uncheck that $28. So now we have the right amount. That's the amount that hit the bank, which is 19, I'm sorry, 1193.35. So uh, on the next, you will see then now, if you go to bank transaction, now you have the match, 1193.35, and you will be able to go ahead and match it and be done with it. <laughs> okay, great. Now, what to do? What, what, what are you gonna do about the cash transaction? Okay, so you're gonna click on the plus sign. You want to select the bank deposit. You wanna make sure that you change it to cash. See the way it says account? So if it's checking over there, it's not gonna be deposited on the cash account. You want to go ahead and, and click on that arrow and select the cash or petty cash, whatever you call your bank, your cash trans, uh, your, your cash bank. Okay, so change it to cash. You want to select the transaction and record the deposit to cash on hand or cash bank or petty cash, whatever you call your cash account. All right, so that is going to be deposited in the cash account. Now, what is the workflow of the cash payment in Square? So that's what we're gonna be talking about next week, yay! <laughs> so for now, we're done. I'm back here. Thanks for watching. So come back for next week. We have those cash transactions for you. We're gonna be talking about Square and how, what to do with those cash transactions. Now. If you like this video, first thing I want to ask you is to subscribe down below, just subscribe to our channel. Next thing, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> just click on the thumbs up and let us know that you like it. Now, and if you want to cover, if you want us to cover something else next time, uh, please write down below in the comments. We love comments. We love to interact uh, with, the with our viewers. We love you guys. We want to see that we are helping you and covering those subjects that you're struggling with. <laughs> That's how I come up with, uh, with Square Integration, with Shopify and all those things. Because I know that, that those are the things you're struggling with. Um, and I've been doing this for a long time, over 20 years. I am an accountant. Um, I have a master's in accounting. And I want to use my experience to help you succeed on your business. Either you are an accountant or bookkeeper, or if you're a business owner who likes to, to do your own business um, or your own books, <laughs> that's what I'm here for, to help you. Now, if you need further assistance, we do offer one-on-one -on -one tutorials. So feel free to go down below, give us a call or contact us through email. Um, we'll be able to, uh, you, you'll be able to hire us. Uh, we'll be able to go one-on-one -on -one and, and cover your specific situation uh, if you need further help. Now, <laughs> I hope to see you next week. Please tune in. If you subscribe, you're gonna get that little 
uh, alert that we have something else going on. We come up, come back pretty much every week with all kinds of subjects. You don't want to miss out on the next one. You don't want to miss out on the next subjects we are going to cover because that's just for you. <laughs> and I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Until next time, keep on smiling.